Hello everybody and welcome along. Um, I've decided to buy another engineer's or machinist's tool chest and you may have come here from one of my previous videos which is the restoration of an engineer's machinist's tool chest. Um, so I'm going to throw this one out um, to everybody. If you let me know what you'd like me to do with this um, I'm going to ask you to pop a comment down below and then we'll see what other people think of your suggestion maybe I don't know how it'll work but if you want me to paint it pink and throw glitter on it you know or completely strip it down um, and just simple straight restore it you let me know but they, bear in mind there's a lot of work to do yeah, interesting if it's going things. to be a, a restoration and people have some good ideas sometimes and I'm just willing to have a bit of fun um, follow your suggestions and we'll see where it leads so a little bit of uh, history it's a Moore and Wright machinist tool chest very well used it's got a few interesting little things about it that I really like. Uh, one is that the handle has been used daily, which is why it's broke. And you can see underneath the box where there's uh, oily hand marks, where it's been carried about at the end of a day's work. Um, I'm assuming it came from a house clearance because the, the seller had a lot of kind of related items uh, he was selling so I'm assuming that this was full of tools at one point possibly when he found it but it was like on a solder seam basis you know which is why I think uh, I got it for a fairly low price um, of 100 pounds plus 20 quid postage so sometimes it's a bit of fun to take a chance you know and this this is the sort of thing you might get so more and right oak. Um, that's a suitcase handle. That may have been original. I have to look that one up. Um, it's got some um, phone numbers on the back, which is a four-digit phone number from the fifties. That gives you an idea of uh, a date when it was being used. It says prospect you know, that may be an engineering company or something like that so anyway um, pop your suggestions in the comments I'll read them we'll have the people read them and then after maybe a month or so I'll start work on it and maybe do a little series of videos um, of each stage of the chosen suggestion there you go prospect which I'm assuming is a, an engineering company 2653 um, so that's that's when the phone numbers were very short 40s 50s something like that there's some nice wear patterns in there where the same tool has gone back in the same place that's a bit of spark burn on the the felting And a terrific amount of wear um, on this uh, pull out front there you see that that's oak and some uh, colored varnish stain possibly from the 80s and that's when that was pretty popular on Kentucky front doors that kind of thing that's that uh, wear pattern in the oak day in day out pulled out pushed back in pretty nice thing but I'm open to suggestions I want to have some fun um, and you can have a bit of fun as well and that was the only remaining piece of tool that was in the box which is a little more and right precision cap thing I don't know you'll have to let me know what that is so I uh, I hope you like this idea and you'll um, consider helping me out by making a few suggestions 
that would be wonderful um, new subscribers are always welcome and I'll shut up now because I've got a few still photographs to show you um, to give you some idea of how original this actually is so take care and I'll see you very soon bye